Preparing for better times requires action that you and I take today. It says in Proverbs 3, verses 9 and 10, Honor the Lord with your substance. Then your barns will be filled with plenty. Well, this is talking about a bountiful harvest. And you can have this, and I can have this in life. A harvest that is from the actions that we take today. You know, there is a time for sowing seed. There is a time for cultivating the soil. There is a time for nurturing the plants and a time for reaping the harvest. And we all look forward to the time that we will reap the harvest, but we have to do the work ahead of time to make sure that the harvest is great, that the barns are full. You hold this in mind as you await the fulfillment of each seed that you have sown. The seed that you have sown, well, it's in thought, it's in word, and it's in deed. You give thanks for a bountiful outpouring of the harvest that is to come from God. You continually give thanks. You concentrate on sowing positive seeds that will nourish and will mature into a wonderful, bountiful harvest of good. You cultivate the fertile fields of your mind by weeding out any negative thought. That is a huge thing to do, to weed out negative thought that would keep you from your harvest. You nourish your seed thoughts, your words, and your deeds. How? Well, you nourish these with prayer and meditation. You trust God for the supply to meet your needs, and you will have a growing harvest of God good. We thank you, God. We thank you for a bountiful harvest. We thank you, God, for a harvest that will be an abundant outpouring of blessings overflowing in our lives.